Hello everyone, welcome back to Math Mode. Really interesting exponential equation today. We have x to the power x to the power 99 equal to 99. And how can we how can we solve it? Of course, this is not like a general method. How can I solve it? But I'm going to show you a really good trick. How can we do this? I, I, I think you will understand me. So firstly, we raise both sides to the power 1 of x. So we have x to the power x to the power 99 equal to <coughs> 99. So we raise both sides to the power 99. So let's do this. Let's raise both sides to the power 99. On the left hand side, x to the power x to the power 99 and of course all raised to the power 99. And on the right hand side we have 99 to the power 99. So I hope you understand this step. Nothing hard, just raise both sides to the power 99. And right now I want to show you a rule of interchange because we can easily write it as x to the power 99 to the power x to the power 99 because there is a rule in math right here we have this power and right here this power so this is a rule in math that we can easily swap these powers this this exponent if we have for example a to the power x raised to the power y this is the same as a to the power y raised to the power x this is a rule of interchange so i hope you you understand this rule so we can swap this this power this exponent so let's use this rule right here so we will have x to the power this power we write inside these brackets so to the power 99 and of course raised to the power x to the power 99 this power we, we write outside x to the power 99 equal to 99 to the power 99 as you can see a lot of 99 on the first side this will be really hard for us but i'll show you a really good trick how can we how can we do it later so take a look right here we have base so for example this will be our base x to the power 99 because this is a four parts so let's divide by two this is our first part and this is our second part so this is our base this is our exponent so this is the same as right here so we have looks like that we have a to the power a this is the same a to the power a equal to 99 to the power 99 so, and I hope you see right now that if you look closely, we will see that uh, we will see that right here, on one and only moment that this equation works is when a equal to 99, because a equal to 99 and a equal to 999. This is one and only case that this equation, this equation works. But a in our case equal to x to the power 99. So we will have x to the power 99 equal to 99. And we can easily find our x right here if you if you take 99th root from both sides, we will have that our x equal to 99th root of 99. So this is our this is our x. Of course, right now we are going to we are going to check it because this is not like a general method. This is tricky method right here. But I want to show you why this method is good right here for us. So let's check this root. So right here we have x x from here equal to this so we will have 99th root of 99 then we raise this element to this the same power because we have x as well so to the power 99th root of 99 and all raised to the power 99 and it need to be equal 99 so let's simplify this a little bit take a look right here we have a really good really good case because we raise this 99th power to the power 99 so this is looks like 99 to the power 1 over 99 and all raised to the power 99 if we raise this to the power 99 we will have only 99 and once more if we do the same trick 99 to the this is our power 99 if we raise this to the power 99 we will have we will have 99 so as you can see our root is is good for us if you still have any question write a question in the comment it will be really nice to read it and of course thank you so much for watching subscribing i really appreciate it and see you in the next videos